वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम 5.65 सो स्टेटमेंट इज फॉर द बीम एंड लोडिंग शोन डिजाइन द क्रॉस सेक्शन ऑफ बीम नोइंग दैट ग्रेट ऑफ टिम्बर यूज हैज एन अलाउेबल नॉर्मल स्ट्रेस ऑफ ट्वेंटी ट्वेल्व मेगा पासकल सो यू कैन सी दिस इज अ सिंपली सपोर्टेड बीम ए बी दैट इज मेड अब ऑफ वुड एंड दिस इज द क्रॉस सेक्शन हैविंग बेरेट इज फोर्टी मिलीमीटर एंड वी डू नॉट नो हाइट एच The loading at point B is one point eight, while loading at point C is three point six. So you have to design the cross section. This you have to find this edge. The allowable uh, normal stress is twelve mega pascal. So let's start with the solution. So again, uh, for uh, uh, we know that maximum bending stress is equal to maximum moment absolute moment divided by section modulus. while this section modulus is equal to for rectangular beam that is equal to 1 over 6 bh bh square so we will find this as for that we need maximum bending moment so for we will draw the shear force and bending moment diagram so first step is that you will if you remove this support so you will be having a force let like this force is a and if you remove this support at d you will having a force vertical reaction force which is d so we will find this by using equilibrium condition that sum of all moment about point d is equal to 0 and taking the counter clockwise moment as positive so about point d one moment is uh, this uh, a force into perpendicular distance this total distance is 2.4 and this is producing clockwise so it will be negative The second moment will be one point eight into perpendicular distance is one point six, and this will producing counterclockwise moment, so it will be positive. The third moment due to this force, which is three point six into perpendicular distance, is zero point eight, and this will also produce counterclockwise so moment, so it will be positive. So their sum must be equal to zero. So a into perpendicular distance is two point four, and that is minus plus. 1.8 into perpendicular distance is 1.6 plus 3.6 into perpendicular distance is 0.8 their sum must be equal to 0 so when you solve this you will get the vertical reaction force at a comes out to be 2.4 kilo newton now you have this force you can find the other one at point d by using this equilibrium condition that sum of all forces along y direction must be equal to 0 so this plus a minus 1.8 minus 3.6 plus d is equal to 0 so a is 2.4 minus 1.8 minus 3.6 plus d is equal to 0 and after when you solve this you will get d is equal to 3 kilo newton now we will draw the shear force and bending moment diagram so for that you have to take the vertical lines from the end of this beam similarly from here you will draw the vertical line and horizontal line that will show x in meter so this is your first point point 8 this will be your second point this is 1.6 this is 0.8 meter and total is 2.4 meter this is zero here we will take the shear force that will be in kilo newton so at point a you can see you have a force which is 2.4 so let each division is uh, 2 for example so this is 2 and this is 4 this is minus 2 and this is minus 4 so 2.4 let this 2.4 lies somewhere here now moving from point a till b there is no other force so it will remain same till point b so i will draw the shear force will be like this one now at point b you can see you have a load of minus 1.8 so 2 minus 1.8 will be equal to uh 0. Two, okay. So zero point two, I will write it. It will go to zero point two. So this is sorry. 
sorry make a correction this is not 2 this is 2.4 so 2.4 minus 1.8 will bring it to 0 0.6 so let 0 0.6 is this point so shear force will change to this this is 0 0.6 now moving from this point B to C, there is no other force, so it will remain same and this 0 0.6 will remain same till this point. Now at point C you have uh, 3 minus 3.6, so 0 0.6 minus 3.6 will bring it to 3 and that is minus 3. So shear force will change to minus 3, so let this is minus 3. So shear force will change to minus 3 and then it will remain horizontal and at point D you can see you have plus 3 so it will bring it to 0. So this is your shear force diagram. Now we will draw the bending moment diagram. So again x in meter you have moment that will be in kilo newton into meter okay so first area under the shear force diagram is this area in this area is 2.4 into 0 0.8 which is this distance and that is equal to 1.92 so let this is uh, 1 this is 2 clear so 1.92 will be somewhere here okay also you know that shear force is a horizontal line so bending moment will be one degree higher and slope will be increasing so we will join these two point this is 1.92 the second area is this area and this area is rectangular so this area will be 0 0.6 into 0 0.8 which is equal to 0 0.48 so 1 plus 1.92 plus 0 0.48 will bring it to 2.4 so let 2.4 is this one this is 2.4 also you can see that shear force is a horizontal line so bending moment will be one degree higher and it will be straight line and slope will be increasing now third area is this area and this area is rectangular so minus 3 into 0 0.8 is equal to minus 2.4 so plus 2.4 minus 2.4 will bring it to 0 till this point. And since this area is negative, so the uh, and this uh, shear force is a horizontal line, so bending moment will be 1 degree higher and slope will be decreasing. So we will join these two points and that will be equal to 0. Okay, assume this is 0. Now, you can see that uh, from shear force, from bending moment diagram, from bending moment diagram, absolute maximum bending stress comes out to be, guess it, it will be 2.4 kilo newton so 2.4 into 10 to the power 3 newton into meter so this is the maximum value and from given data from given data we have allowable stress is equal to 12 megapascal for this timber beam so that is 12 into 10 raised to power 6 pascal so we know that section modulus is equal to uh, maximum bending moment divided by allowable r maximum bending stress so you can just put the value 2.4 into 10 raised to power 3 divided by 12 into 10 raised to power 6 so again this will be the required or minimum section modulus and the value will be 200 into 10 raised to power minus 6 cubic meter so in term of millimeter this section modulus s will be equal to 200 into 10 raised to power 3 
cubic millimeter now you have this s so for rectangular cross section rectangular cross section we know that section modulus is equal to 1 over 6 bh square so you can just put the value 200 into 10 to the power 3 is equal to 1 by 6 b is given as 40 millimeter and h is not known so h square so from here this will be equal to 6 into 200 into 10 to the power 3 divide by 40 is equal to h square so when you solve this and you will take the under root of h square or you take the under root on both sides so you will get the final value will be 10 30 into 10 to the power 3 square millimeter uh, uh, sorry this will be h square not if you calculate this h square will be this one and if you take under root on both sides so h will be equal to 30 into 10 to the power 3 and after solving this you will get h height of this beam is 173.2 millimeter so we have designed the cross section of this beam that uh, this beam will having breadth is 40 millimeter and height is 173.2 millimeter and this was all about uh, problem 5.65 i hope you have enjoyed this video and you are learning from my videos as well those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest video if you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you for watching